All right, back to the extra stream. Uh, let's see what people are saying. Oh, yeah, localized key codes. Yeah, the way, oops, this did, okay, you're right. These are like VK, right? This is one of the fun things about dealing with keyboards is, yeah, um, SDLK is like uh, Windows is VK, virtual key codes, which are supposed to be sort of localized, whereas scan codes are the low level um, just like a, a, a fun example of where you want to use one and the other. Um, if you want to, you know, so think of WASD, WASD for controls. The reason they're used is not that the letters WASD have any particular meaning, right? Whereas, you know, if you have, um, suppose you have an RPG game, that's a double barrel, uh, an RPG. If you suppose you have an RPG and you want to use a mnemonic like the I key for inventory, then the I key better always be I for inventory, right? Uh, regardless of the kind of keyboard you're using. Uh, and so for that, you want to use virtual key code so that it actually corresponds to the character I. Um, but for things like WASD, uh, those characters, th those keys are not used because WASD are some kind of profound mnemonics for something. They're used because they're in that triangle on the left side of the keyboard, right? And so uh, for something like that, you typically want to use scan codes if you want to be super duper uh, robust about it because those are going to be on a fixed per position on a standard keyboard, regardless of how other things may be remapped or vary by locale or type of keyboard, I think, um, if I'm not totally mistaken. But yeah, most of the time, virtual key codes is the right default. Someone saying, uh, this so far this is like Mew, I hope the uh, <laughs> it won't take six hours for the Windows Win32 version. I mean, I won't. it will probably take more than six hours, actually, because it's going to do a lot more, but I won't do it on stream. Um, but this was just to get started. But actually, let me, um, let's even, rather than just trying to add more features, let's already try to abstract the basic functionality we have here into our own API, um, and then expose it to Ion, which was sort of the point of the exercise. So um, let's say we have a function uh, like no r init, and for now we're not really going to be very careful about you know only initializing just the right things. Um, we probably should return an error code, but we're not going to be very good about signaling exact errors or whatever. Um, and for, for now, we're basically just going to uh, follow a lot of the, like the corresponding conventions. Um, Actually, let's actually let's do it differently. Let's think about it maybe from from a slightly higher level point of view, um, because we'll be we'll be using a bunch of sort of two vectors and stuff repeatedly. So um, actually, let's uh, without writing the code, let's design the API first, and let's do it in uh, let's design it in uh, Ion in Ion code, and then we'll do the implementation in C. Um, let's see here. Uh, and so what do we want the API to look like? Well, um, it's going to be an init function. Maybe it just returns a bool. 
I'm just going to put in stubs. Um, I'm going to have some kind of window. Um, these are all going to be foreign. Um, I think, because the window is just going to be opaque. Um, how do we do opaque types right now? I guess, I'm not sure we have two ways of doing opaque types, but... Um, let's just stub that in for now. So there's some, some notion of a window. Um, and... Create window. Right, let's have uh, int2, which is going to be xy. Um, int. And uh, maybe a title and a position. And the size. Um, it's going to return a window. No, just return stub. And um, and for now we don't need flags. I guess destroy window. And uh, probably, let me think, do we want to do something more like view or um, I do think I want something like that. With at least for certainly the current key state, I don't want to have to use a function. There should just be a global thing I can look at, um, like keys 256, uh, should just be, probably want to have this in a context struct, so, um, I mean, maybe it will be called noir. It'll be like, uh, let's use the similar kind of thing I did in mu, which is we have, let's see, uh, we have currently down, and then we have some edge detection flags that are inferred. Um, and then we'll do, Something like this, I guess. God, I, I, I have to get used to moving between them. Get used to it eventually. Um, keys. Maybe we'll just make these globals for now. No, I think there's going to be too much stuff. Um, context, state. <clears throat> um, there's going to be some kind of update function. Um, and so the idea from the kind of user code point of view is I want to be able to do I want
want to be able to do like init uh, create window hello world um, And um, you know we're going to call update, and then uh, we will do something like. Okay, I want to make this global for now. We can move them up later. Like it, once we have packages, having them global is not an issue because there's going to be a noir namespace. For, uh, for packages, and then it will be like, you know, uh, it will end up looking something like this. And so having them global at that level is fine. Because um, it will look like this. If noir keys, um, noir key return, um, pressed, then Return pressed. Um, I think this is roughly it for the minimal thing we're going to do right now. Except we won't have these prefixes, but that explains why having this be at global is not as bad as it looks from a namespacing point of view, even though it has a name like keys, which is otherwise liable to collide. Um, all right. All right, let's do that. So people are saying. Oh, someone's asking about a studio mic. Um, yeah, I. I had one on order, then it got back ordered, and I canceled the order. Uh, but I should look at it more. I'll be traveling soon and need to. Uh, what am I calling? I'll, I'll be traveling soon and probably won't be able to use a studio mic when I'm traveling as well. But yeah, it would be nice to have one at home. Um, let me think here. So what do we need to do? I mean, writing the C code for this is obviously not a problem. Let's do this. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay, that should be fine. Um, so what structures do we need? For now, I'm just going to use void stars. Uh, I'm going to use void stars to mirror this um, because the right now I don't have a way of doing incomplete types that are never completed, like that are supposed to be incomplete, um, like to, to totally opaque things. That wouldn't be very hard to do. I just don't have them right now. So let's just use this approach for now. Um, Longer term, I also want to be able to declare the types, like especially for stuff that's intended like kind of like interface code between two things. I want to be able to define the types one place in ion and then ge generate a header file that I can then use uh, in the C code so that I don't have to keep them consistent. Um, but for now, I think this is fine. 
All right, and then um, so let's do this sort of thing over there. I guess I actually don't want this. This is going to be like a handle struct, so I actually I'm not going to return a pointer. I'm just going to return it by value. This is more like a handle um, than a pointer. So um, Right, we don't have a way to indicate errors. So that's one problem with this approach. Um, let's just ignore that for the moment. Um, So okay, let's do keys here. Um, Oh, actually, let's do init as well. I guess init is actually going to be last. Let's do it right now. So for initialization, we're going to init everything. Um, actually don't need to do anything for keys because like all good C structures the zero initialized state is actually the correct one fault so I think what we do here is um, we 
And so you can say, um, was down, is going to be the previous. Uh, and then you will say, well, this pressed is if down and is something like this. Um, let's see here. So that's going to all of this junk. And for now, actually, for now I'm just going to write the test code in C. Um, to make sure the code works before we do the ion binding. It does not work. It's in. Oh, these errors are incredibly unhelpful. So it was not called for events. Pump. It'll pump those events. Um, okay. Um, Well, actually, let's try it without a window, which should totally work as well. Um, okay, we need some key codes. And I'm going to ch cheat by just aliasing. Um, by just aliasing the key codes from SDL, at least for now. And uh, you should be able to say okay. and it failed. It's impressive. Am I using that function wrong? Oh, it's one of these things that returns. Anything but not zero. So. Well, I don't know if it needs window focus. Let's create a window. Um, okay. There's something really weird with the debugger, where it's really slow sometimes. Okay, let's see here. Um, let's first do the do this. Let's 
because it's hard to hard to mess up. Even that isn't working. Interesting. I should probably go and make sure that the keyboard state is it's probably multiple bits in that struct. So in theory, this should just do a copy, right? Um, grab the keyboard array, iterate through it. Um, we are doing the pump events first. Oh, you have to use scan code? No, oh, there's corresponding. Okay, that was the issue. So this thing thing has to take scan codes. Um Okay, let's just use scan codes for now. Um, okay, return pressed. Let's see. Or let's see if this works. That works. Um, as simple as that is, let's try to bring it into Ion. So, um, let's bring that in. And um, I guess we need a pre-build step, whatever that thing is called. Pre-build step, which is called the pre -build. Uh, Let's see here. I've been using some of these macros to refer to the generated ion compiler executable. Um, this, is, this is dangerous to say the least, but Maybe I can just do iron compiler. Um, no. Not 
Maybe I can do that. This is not a great idea, but let's just talk about it. Probably need absolute paths for that too. What happened to the to long one? The project that I had that too. I need to tinker with this off stream, it's not really interesting. Um, I should start building this to a specific location rather than putting it in here, like a bin directory or something. See, I'm not sure why it's just exiting without a useful error. Because MS build is garbage. Um, okay, this is not even the right file as well. What is this? Oh, it was just an empty file. Alrighty. Um, so let's see wh which of this. It's kind of vaguely correct. Uh, I really need to think of this bit stuff. So Right. 
I should set this. Oh, I see. I set up this in the launch module, so that definitely isn't helping. Okay, let's remove this and Okay. <sighs> um, right. Probably shouldn't even do floor declarations for totally external stuff. Okay, and now the way I plan to integrate it, um, is to do this. So let's see if um, if I now do in it uh, hello world uh, foreign var centered. It's crashing. It's interesting. So this compilation succeeded. And there's all of this stuff, which looks correct. And then I mean, certainly, like if this was called main two, I presume oh, I see so there's so stuff that wasn't getting recompiled. it looks like
Right, okay. Something very weird with the build steps. Oh, print out. I see. Um, all right. All right. <clears throat> I think that's a good stopping point for the stream. Uh, obviously, not. I mean, this is like the least interesting thing in the world, but. The point is, it's the start of binding to something. Um, I think one thing I want to do before I proceed much further is um, well, let me see if I can close the window. Actually, I can't. I think we have to handle quit events. Um, but anyway, I think one thing I want to do before I write a lot more glue code is figuring out a well, certainly a way where you can do pure forward declarations of types and also functions. So you, you should be able to do this. Um, you don't have to have these dummy implementations. And maybe also a way to basically, um, like it would be nice, like suppose that instead of generating a single C file, we had a .h and a .c we generated and the .h had all the types, then we could basically, the C code itself could actually have its type definitions in ION, and then it could pound include that C file for things like key and all these other things we're going to be adding. And that way we don't have to duplicate them in two places. We just define them in ION, that generates the C stub header, and then the C code actually includes that, so we don't have to redundantly define them. Um, it seems to me like, especially for types where keeping them in sync is going to be annoying. Uh, that would cut down on a lot of redundancy and remove some potential um, sort of out of sync issues with those wrappers. But anyway, yeah, so this does work as boring as it is, but um, you know, early baby steps. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll, I'll be stopping the stream now. Um, I don't have much time to code today because my wife came home from her trip, so I have to spend time with her and run errands and stuff. Um, but I'll be working full time on this tomorrow off stream, and so hopefully. On Wednesday, I will have a really cool, well-designed, uh, pretty functional library for this sort of stuff that feels kind of ion native, and uh, and uh, some demos to go along with it, and then maybe we'll we'll write some games uh, the rest of the week. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. Uh, do your homework, <laughs> or start working on your homework if you're interested in that stuff, and ask me questions on the forum or on Discord if you get stuck or need elaborations on things. So uh, yeah, see everyone around.